doing okay? The high clouds. I'm hoping for rain. Me too. Because yeah. we're Los Angeles. We always did you ever want to do the weather along the way early I did on? the weather oh. in Seattle uh, four times, I think. Oh, you, you know, it's a small <laughs> town. <laughs> he is Bill Nye, yeah, the yeah, science hi. guy. Yes. yes. And, and so I had the metric moment. Doing on the weather. my weather cast, I would have all the temperatures go oh, metric to yeah, ce Celsius, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and it viewers can, like freaked out. And you'd say it's disgustingly hot; it's 30 degrees, right? That's right. Yeah. 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 No, well, understand everybody. What? Understand? Excuse me. Sure. Every Please take one, over. Everyone else in the world knows that 30 degrees is a very hot day. Right. This is the last country on Earth to live in the past. What Should are you we, saying? We're egotistical around here, egocentric. I'm saying we're the th we just. One of the my heart breaks, and the mm. reason we are here, is because the U.S. abandoned teaching the metric system. I remember when I was young, they said, we're going to this in 10 years, and we never did. You have a new show. Yes. Yes. Let's show a clip of it. Bill Nye saves the yes. world. Yes. We got a cl yes, yes. We clip. It's Netflix. Let's burn something. Oh, yeah. I am attempting to create new life. <laughs> 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 One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! I'm Bill Nye, and I'm here to, dare I say it, save the world. Oh, no, no ego here. Bill Nye saves the world. <laughs> How hard can it be? We got a half hour. You have become sort of the symbol of uh, science. Science versus anti-science to an extent. Talk about that. Uh, well, anti-science is bad for the United States. It's bad for the whole world. Because everybody, if nothing else, what science keeps us in the game economically. This is to say, if what we sell now is not textiles, we sell innovations. There's, I mean, you've met people who don't have a mobile phone probably, but there's not very many of those. I've never met one. Yeah. I haven't. But so what you're saying is, Listen, when you make it simple. You make it people understand it. Is basically well, that's my what it comes goal. about, yeah. right? So yeah. you don't have an iPhone or the Samsung, whatever the heck, without software written by somebody that runs on transistor transistor logic that is put made, put together by lithography with silicon crystals. This is not trivial stuff. Right, right. But we've done okay with that. Yes, yeah, so yeah, we can't yeah. pretend it's not happening yeah. when it comes to climate change. All right, do you sense that there is a real move uh, where just, some people are panicked about it, away from science? Oh, yeah. In, into the realm of not science, anti-science, uh, religious-based education as opposed to scientific-based? No, I got no problem with religion in general. Mm -hmm. Let me emphasize everyone. Go but ahead. The Earth's not 6,000 years old. We were yeah. talking about Ken Ham before yeah. this thing started. The Earth's not, I mean, it doesn't matter whatever else you believe, the Earth is, ain't no 6,000 years old. Employing a double yeah. negative for comedic effect. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, let, we let, won't let, hold it against let's you. Let's explore that for a moment. Yes. Because there are people who accept that, they, they were called creationists, now they're called intelligent design people, that the world was created 6,000 years ago. There's nothing that kind of backs that up, but what they say to you was, you weren't there. So how no. do you know? Yeah. Well, so... Are, do we have we have do we have CSI Santa Monica yet? Is that coming? It's coming. It's coming. Yeah, it's coming, CSI yes. season after next. Yes, season yes. Culver, CSI yes. Culver yes. City. Uh -huh. yeah, okay, yeah. So the, on these shows, it's all about what happened in the past that you infer from the future. Every every mystery novel, every lawyer show is about evidence, right? That's what that's the whole thing. So there's plenty of evidence about the age of the Earth. Mm -hmm. But in the, so on the Netflix show. We are addressing scientific issues for society. We're addressing issues in society scientifically, from a scientific standpoint. What are you guys doing in this clip? Uh, we're messing around. We walked on fire. So, by the way, you guys, I'll just tell you, and I, I don't think this will lead to any trouble, you don't have to pay 5000 bucks to learn to walk on fire. You can just do it. Okay, how do you science. walk on fire? Because I, I, I know exactly know. where you're going with that one. <laughs> right, but, but what is the point here? What, what, how do you do it? Uh, so there's three things really that enable you to walk on fire. First of all, even when it's burning, wood doesn't conduct heat that well. Okay. Secondly, the main thing is your foot is just a big piece of meat. Uh, there's the fire <laughs> segment. Yeah. yeah. In fact, in this fire segment, we went a little too early. Uh, the guy got started late this and that the fire was a little hotter than it normally is but uh anyway your foot soaks up a lot of heat before it burns if you don't believe me 
try this or you can do try that but get a soda can an empty can and wrap a post-it note around it empty can and hold it over a candle flame the post-it note won't burn for quite a while because the heat goes right through the paper into the can and the same thing happens with the skin of your foot on a fire the heat goes through the skin into the meat of your foot and the other trick, really, everybody, when fire walking, is to go fast. Go fast. I knew you would just say, just go fast. <laughs> just go fast. So, so you won't get it. Uh, that's one example of something we did on the show. I love that stuff. And we stuff. had fun. We had fun. Yeah. So um, uh, I really, uh, I'm really honored to be working with Netflix. They have a lot of money. Yeah. And that's really good. A lot of money? Uh, uh, yeah, what? Yeah, and, and resources. No restrictions. restrictions. No restrictions, right? Well, just not the way we had restrictions years ago on the Science Guy show, mm -hmm. so it's cool. And we get these celebrities, and we get a big right. set with bright lights. You got a lot of famous people on the show. You have correspondents we all know. There's a lot going on. But I have a question for you before you go. What right now in the world bothers you the most? Oh, denial of climate change. <laughs> of course it no, does. You You've guys. talked a lot about so this. So I went to Greenland yes. this summer, like the, the continent ice. of Greenland, the big island of Greenland. And we, uh, the Air Force and National Science Foundation get you in a C-130, the great big old plane. The guys flying it are much younger than the plane. And you fly to the middle of the ice sheet. I mean, nowhere, 400 kilometers, 250 miles every direction. There's nothing but ice. And you drill down. And you look at the layers of ice, of snow, back 170,000 years. The thing that everybody's concerned about right now is what they're calling abrupt climate change. So they find in the ice record the, the world changing dramatically in 20 years. So you're born, you're eating wheat from the Midwest. By the time you're out of high school, you can't eat. There's no wheat growing there anymore. All right, uh, Bill. Bill's going to save uh, the world. It says here, bye bye saves the world. <laughs> yeah, Bill Bye. Bill Nye, Bill Nye the science, science guy. Can we still call you Bill Nye the science guy? It's hard for you're people never not to. You're not it's it's all it. one okay, word. Go. It used to be hyphenated. Not uh, anymore. Turn it up loud, everybody. What's that? What's that? Uh, that? that? That's that handsome young man.